how's it going everyone? So in today's video I kind of want to start doing some tutorials on the fourth artist in our Sounds Like series which is on Swaley. So as I'm sure some of you might know we've been working on a kind of sample pack which kind of tries to incorporate his sound as a whole and that may or may not be out by the time this goes live. If not then I'll leave a link to the kind of sampler and the waiting list. With regards to like the tutorials I kind of did one on the kind of synthy textures last time, so a specific part of his sound, and this time around I kind of want to touch on a kind of more of his like stylistic approach. So in this one we're basically going to be diving into that kind of like funk house type sound referencing the track The Sun Dance Floor. So without further ado, let's get into it. So up first we have this kind of vocal. I couldn't tell you exactly where I found this, because the name's not saved, but from memory I recall just kind of typing French vocal sample conversation or something, just go kind of those keywords into YouTube or something, and then I think I just found a movie where they were just having a conversation in French. <laughs> And it just works really well, especially with the kind of like delay effects. So I've just kind of like carefully put them in different places and just got different phrases. If I just take it all here, there's like a conversation taking place with like loads of different people. So, just kind of creative sampling, and obviously it's got that French kind of aspect, just because that's where he's from. And when you've got such a like stripped back track, a vocal like that can just kind of help to just to keep it going. It kind of gives you something to attach to. So that is basically the vocal. One of the kind of main parts of the Sweetie sound is his tracks are like extremely groovy. So this can be achieved in numerous ways, but we'll kind of get onto that further down anyway. And I think one of the kind of main things he does quite well is his sound selection. So I know that he uses a lot of like hardware so for the kick he uses this one called like the Ramona, Ramona kick lancet so he's got a lot of like very raw drum one shots from drum machines and he obviously uses his like MPC to kind of play it in so you've got this kick pretty punchy kind of beefed up got this kind of snare You've got this kind of open hat. A lot of these are from this pack, just because I wanted that certain character with these sounds. Got this closed hat, which is also playing on the offbeat. I've got this kind of hat loop, and this is kind of where the groove starts getting introduced. So I've kind of spoken about um, groove layers before. Basically, within the MIDI clip, loading hats that aren't on the main kind of beat, and then basically doing this. And then altering the velocity. So that is essentially what that loop would be. Um, basically these kind of hats that have been shifted along the grid and that's when you could use like groove pull as well. I've got this kind of layer here, which I found which was quite nice. It's kind of like a, a jazzy kind of loop.
if you want to add groove looking in these kind of places especially non-electronic genres looking for those elements that you can maybe incorporate into your your electronic track is one way to kind of create your own kind of sound and that's kind of what he's done So it's very low in the mix. But I'm kind of getting that kind of sweep kind of sound mostly. The rest is kind of being ducked. This here. And then I've just got this kind of shaker which once again adds a bit of groove because it's not just a 16th, it's kind of got those other hats kind of playing throughout. I've also got it sidechained and this auto filter with an LFO. So I don't want this That gets quite annoying and it's almost too energetic for this kind of track. So basically if I want to continue creating groove but not overwhelming the track, I'll basically dial it back and kind of do stuff with the processing. So that is essentially the hats and kind of the drums in general. So the kind of main thing that's driving this track is that kind of funky bass but this kind of, this is kind of like the main layer and then you've got a stab so you'll basically see it's a call and response you've got the main kind of bass pattern and then the kind of stab is the response You'll just see just how simple it is. Like a lot of these patterns, what makes them work so well is in the simplicity. Literally just two notes. So he's gone for one of those more stripped back bass lines, which obviously leaves him a lot more room with other elements. So the first layer is basically a kind of like bass guitar patch. It's a very kind of subby patch. And then I think I started by like layering it with this. So I, I basically split the bass into a kind of top. And you'll see that it kind of plays these kind of filler notes as well. So it's basically playing the same thing, but with some differences. If you kind of want good kind of bass sounds, then a good kind of starting point, I'd probably say it's up there as one of the best kind of bass simps on the market is Trillion. And basically you can choose different kind of bass types. So what I would have probably done is bass instruments, and then you can choose real basically realistic sounding bass guitars or you can go to like synth bass which is kind of a bass which you'd hear more on a kind of like synthesizer as opposed to played from a, a real bass guitar so i think i've settled on the kind of synth bass but and um, the top layer would have probably been like a, a stab which works really well so i've basically used that kind of low bass and layered it with a top line. I mentioned Trillion, but you can equally use like samples. So I think it's a pack called, let me just find it. It's a pack called Best Service House Definition. And I've basically organized it and you get like loads of really cool bass sounds. And then Best Service Horny Club sounds. 
you get like tons of cool like funk bass hits. They're pretty common sounds, so I'm sure you'd be able to find them elsewhere. But what I've essentially done is taken it from that pack and I've basically just taken a hit, a stab from that. And then the different kind of color ones you'll see are basically just different variations. So different ways he's kind of kept the kind of arrangement interesting. And that's just one of them. So that's basically the bass. So the next part he's introduced is this kind of like synth and music section. So in this particular example, he's kind of gone with like canos as his kind of melodic sound. So he has this kind of lead. So I've basically just drawn in that pattern and then just added these kind of notes as well. Just kind of working down the kind of scale, which we're in C minor for. And then these bits, I don't know if they're in the original, but I added them just because it works quite nicely, especially with the kind of delay. So I've basically just got the piano kind of Arturia plugin and just use literally the first patch. So that's kind of like the lead. Then we move on to the chord, which is a more complex version of his. And then I've got this kind of like funky kind of pattern where the notes change. So you'll see the kind of combination of the chords being on the beat and then the second and fourth one being off the beat kind of help as well to make it more groovy and more funky. So I basically got that. In terms of processing, very simple. You'll see a lot of these kind of patterns, the kind of add some extra balance to them. I've kind of emphasized importance on kind of side chaining as well. Because I don't want it to be very still. I'd rather add some groove and basically make it bounce. So a subtle point where you can still kind of hear it is I'm in for. I've basically got this kind of like piano, but I've also added this kind of like Rhodes kind of sound as well. So that's the chords. The kind of ear candy he's got going on is this kind of like funk guitar with like loads of delay. So it creates this kind of dubby kind of effect. And these kind of sounds can be really good to basically introduce quite frequently throughout. Like you'll hear, see here, pretty much every eight bars it plays. And it's just kind of, just keeps it going really. That's kind of what a lot of these kind of sounds are for. You'll find a lot of like one shots which work really well for this, like your funk kind of one shots, like I was just saying. If you've got a pretty comprehensive library that you've been building up for a while, what you should be able to do is start searching the kind of keywords. So I could search like funk and if I go to like all results, I get this. I get like funk drums, I get loops. And what you can do is basically search like funk and then the kind of key of your track. So as you'll see here on here, we're in C minor. So that's kind of what I do. I'll essentially kind of find these loops. And what I've essentially done is chop that up so I can use it as like this kind of guitar pack. So this kind of sound isn't in the original, but I was saying like, there's just loads of things you can do and if you want to kind of make this kind of pretty stripped back track quite interesting then stuff like this can be a nice addition.
and then something that I've not used in the track, but just to kind of talk about my point, that's kind of like percussive, but if you want something a bit more melodic, those kind of like funk loops work really well. So basically going back to my point on like being creative with your sample selection and thinking outside the box when it comes to like genres is kind of what he's done. Like I feel like it's a large part of the kind of sound he's made up is getting those kind of influences from everywhere. Like funk, jazz, those kind of sounds, even the ones that aren't like electronic music. So that's essentially the Simpson the music. So the final kind of part which I think he does pretty well is these kind of like SFX and textures. In a track like this you notice them a lot more because like I've said many times, like it's a very stripped back track and you kind of need to rely on bits of ear candy to keep it going for those full five minutes. So it's not really like a, a go-to rule when it comes to F SFX and stuff. It's very much just a case of choosing sounds that work really well. First one that comes in is this. It's kind of like Crash. And then we've got it's kind of flangey one. It's kind of sweep. And we've got a kind of combination of stuff. A beep. An upriser. So he uses very like, obviously he uses like a lot of the common effects, but he uses certain other ones as well. Down filters, you've got this. This is one from his pack. Got this. And like an electro signal. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this one. I hope it kind of gave you a bit of an insight into how Sweely kind of creates those kind of funky kind of house grooves. I didn't mention it at the start, but if you kind of want this project, I'll leave it down below in the link in the description. And like I said as well, I'll also leave either the pack if it's finished or the kind of sampler slash waiting list link if you kind of are interested. On your way out, if you can give us a like, comment what you want to see next. And if it's a sweetie one, let us know what track or kind of what kind of sound you want from that. And I'll see you in the next one.